We are in London with uh, Vincent Finn, who has been ambassador both in uh, Jerusalem and before in uh, Libya, British ambassador. Uh, now we are talking about the refugee crisis and uh, uh, Libya is heavily involved in the, the, this uh, problem of uh, refugees. Uh, people are crossing the country and uh, partly now we are also coming from the country because of the uh, war. And of course uh, uh, from Jerusalem you can have also a very good idea of what is happening now in Syria. What do you think? I think we need um, a peace conference involving Iran, Russia, the Americans, the Europeans, uh, even Assad, to address this problem. The migration of the refugees into Europe is a, a big problem for all the European countries, including mine, including the United Kingdom. And we need peace in Syria to en enable the people to come home, which is what they want to do. So uh, the ceasefire, uh, which is working now is important but it's not enough we need a deal an agreement between the syrian authorities whether we like them or not the uh, opposition uh, but not i think jabhat al nusra not islamic state to enable some consolidation of security in uh, Syria. We don't want Syria to split up. We don't want it to separate. We need a Syrian state with sovereignty and power in order to confront the Islamic State in Syria as well as in Iraq. So I am hopeful that the ceasefire will keep going. If it does, we can see a chance for negotiations between Assad's people and Assad and uh, the opposition with the neighbors and with America and Europe to end this conflict and enable people to come home. Some people say that all this uh, trouble now in the Arab world, uh, uh, the fault is of the West which supported Arab Spring, uh, but if Gaddafi, for example, remained in power, uh, the crisis would not be so serious. I think um, Gaddafi's departure in the end was necessary. He threatened his own people in Benghazi with uh, annihilation, and that was bad. And uh, therefore, the response of the French and the British was what was needed to save lives. But the problem is that after his departure, there was a vacuum, no, nobody in control. And now, very sadly, in Libya, too many people with guns too many governments. There are at least two governments and many militias. So somehow we need to listen to the Libyan people, listen to them, but help them to come to terms with each other, stop the external interference, uh, including from some of the uh, Arab neighbors, stop that, and get to a situation where Libya is in one, one piece. Because going back to the migration problem, we're coming towards the spring and the summer, uh, and if there is no law in Libya, there will be many migrants coming again to Italy and to Malta from, uh, from Libya. And uh, that's disorderly, it's not organized, it's not safe. So we need a, an authority in Libya, a Libyan authority in Libya, and in the same time, in a different place, we need some Syrian security, some Syrian authority to enable us to bring peace back to Syria, to enable those migrants to come home uh, from Greece, from Turkey, from Lebanon, from Jordan. Uh, and in North Africa, we need a settled jurisdiction so that there can be uh, an authority which will stop the flow of uh, migrants into Europe. Finally, your opinion about uh, Palestine. Uh, do you think uh, that uh, uh, the Western governments uh, should recognize the state of Palestine? My personal opinion, yes. I think the negotiation phase is not now. Uh, it is very difficult to, organ to organize a negotiation between the strong Israel 
and the weak and divided Palestinians between Hamas and Fatah. I think it's important for countries like the United Kingdom, France, maybe Spain, maybe Italy, to consider recognizing Palestine, uh, this is my personal opinion, recognizing Palestine as a state in order to give them a little bit more weight in the negotiations which must come and to recognize their rights. Is there an apartheid regime in uh, Israel? They say no. The occupation is going the wrong way. There are now 650,000 settlers in the West Bank and in East Jerusalem. Maybe one day there'll be a million if, if it doesn't end. And everybody in the international community wants it to end, wants the settlements to stop. But how? How to persuade Israel to stop this policy? I think recognition of Palestine is one way, not enough. But in the end, if we all, including Israel, and I respect the state of Israel on 67 borders, if they will respect international law, international humanitarian law, then there is a chance. If they do not, then we go towards one state, which they don't want, and the Palestinians don't want, and I don't want. But how to prevent it? The only way is to enable the Palestinians to have their own state in Gaza, the West Bank, and East Jerusalem, the territories occupied in 1967, so that two states can grow together. They will have to be friends. The economy is very closely linked. The business is very closely linked. Everything works together if they can agree to separate as two states with equal rights for both peoples.